What's up everybody? Abana Tiger here with the first tutorial in After Effects. I'm going to be showing you how to uh how to get really nice slow motion. Here's the clip we're gonna be working with. Pretty good. So at about right here you wanna start the slow motion. So first off in your composition, you want to look at my composition settings, it's right here. Um, now, I would recommend making your composition like, depending on your clip, how much you're going to be doing it in. Like, if the clip's like 10 seconds, you're going to be doing a lot of slow motion. Just stay count on how much you're going to give it. Like, say if you need, this clip's like 4, 3.5 seconds long. Let's see how long it is. This clip's not that long, um, so I gave it like an extra five or six seconds. It's not gonna be doing that much slow motion. But the first thing you wanna do is you wanna click on this on this layer right here on your video layer, and you wanna click on layer time, and you wanna click on nail time remapping because it's gonna slow it down, and you wanna be, be able to have more time to see the rest of the video clip. You'll see what I mean later. So click on your video clip, you know, hit effect, your vision plugins, Twixter. Now I will put Twixter in the description, or you can just search it, whatever, whatever I decide to do. But I'll make sure you guys get it. Uh, so first off, you want to see how many frames per second your video is. So you click on your video right here, and 59.94 FPS, okay. So when you put Twixter in, you want to see right here, input frame rate. You want to change that to whatever it was. Um, so that way it just does that. Now, you're good for right there. Now the next thing you want to do is you want to find a frame or two before. You want to start the slow motion. So you want to click right here, Twixter. I'll put control. And you're going to get speed. Hold on. We're going to hit E. And it gets rid of some of the rest of it. Okay, so anyway, right here you want to click on the speed. We want it to be at. You want to make sure it's 100%. And you're going to come a little frame ahead and change this to about 5. And make sure it makes another keyframe. As you can see, it's nice and slow motion. So go ahead and skip ahead. And you can see how many seconds it is right here. So you know how many how long your slow motion is going to be. So we'll make it 4 seconds. And you can see it ran out of time. Cause it's so so slow, so you need that's uh, you need time remapping. So you can make it longer. So we'll make it about four seconds of slow motion or to about right there. About there. And one thing if you want to, you can make all your frames like blur into each other, which makes it look really cool. You can enable frame blending. It looks a lot better, a lot more smooth. And then you want to hit a frame here, so it stays at five percent come a frame ahead like this and just change it back to 100 so you got that there so it looks kinda like this and slow motion and then you wanna find where your clip ends whenever it ends and time remapping is just gonna stay still or maybe not. Whatever. So, um, this toy don't want it clip anymore. You can just time your map it to about there. So that looks about good. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, we'll put it about right here. Alright, so now we can, if you want to see what it's, what it's like. Now the sound's going to be off, but, um, you can fix that in Sony Vegas. Or to RAM preview. And, uh, I'll probably fast forward through this in the video, but uh, maybe not, I don't know. But it looks really nice. Really, like, it's used a lot in a lot of different things. So, um, they can kind of see it's, in the RAM preview, it's, it's, uh, nice and slow. Just let this finish the RAM preview, and I'll let it play for you nice and smooth. What RAM preview does is it allows it 
because if you just hit play over here, it's gonna um it's gonna be all like chunky and laggy in the preview. So if you if you hit RAM preview over here and let it to where the screen bar gets to the end, or just whenever you want to finish it, then uh it'll play nice and smooth like it was actually rendered, but it's just in your preview. It takes a little time. Let's give it some time. In the meantime, I'll talk about some other things. About like this probably go on Danger Close Cinema's page. Uh they'll probably put my page in the description. If they don't, it's infamous films H D. I N F A M O U Z Films H D. And then uh I'll probably just post all the tutorials there. Um so I'll be doing other tutorials such as like FL Studio, which is like music tutorials. I'll do Sony Vegas tutorials, color correction tutorials. I do a lot of the Cinema 4D, 3D intro tutorials. Uh, just comment on what you think we should do next. Send me a message, whatever. Uh, and I'll make a tutorial about it. Okay, so this is uh, this is almost done. Let's let it finish up a few more seconds. I will. As you can see, nice and smooth. Very smooth. So, um, and then, if you want to render, uh, for render settings, I would use, um, let's see, composition, add to render queue, and what I do is I click right here on lossless, and you want to click right here, videos for Windows, and click H.264, which is HD uh, MP4. And by default, After Effects will not export audio, but if you want it to, you can check the audio box right there, and it will export the audio, but I'm not going to for, because I never really use audio that much. And uh, just come right here, hit OK. Based on lossless, and you know it worked. Hit, click right here. So it's your location. You can see it's H.264 MP4, and you can just save it whenever you want. Test and save. And then whenever you're done, you just click right here on render, and you are good to go. I will put the finished product in the end of this video. So uh, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe.